Hey everyone, my name is Justin from JustThisGood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an inverted black and white stripe illusion in Photoshop. So you can start on any size canvas you want, but I'm just going to use a square canvas to show you this example on. The first thing you want to do is head over to your shape layer and grab your rectangle tool. Make sure your foreground or fill color is set to solid black and then just make a square on the top half of the photo and if Photoshop doesn't snap it right into place, then you could just grab your move tool and move it around till it's directly in the middle. So now you have half black and half white. Now head over to edit, define pattern, and select OK. So now we have our stripe pattern and we're just going to go to layer, new fill layer, pattern. So press OK and it should automatically select that most recently created pattern, which is our stripes. And now you just want to scale it down to a size that you like. So you could use like 10 or 5% depending on how thick you want your stripes. I'm going to use 10 and also if you want to move it around you could click and move it around. So press OK when you're ready and now we're going to create an inverted shape or text. So grab either a shape or text tool whatever you want. In this example I'll use a letter and then I'll type out my letter and you want to make sure that your shape or object is white. So I'm going to highlight my letter and change my foreground color to white and I'll press command T to open up my free transform menu and scale it upwards just so you can see better. And now to make it flip everything behind it you just want to set the blending mode of this layer to exclusion. So now it doesn't matter where I move it it's always going to invert the black and white stripes because of the way that these blending modes work. So you could create some pretty cool illusions with this with text or custom shapes. I saw this actually on a t-shirt design which gave me the inspiration to create this tutorial. So if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.